Does that look all right? Mm -hmm. yeah, look quite bright, doesn't it? Okay, let's mm -hmm. try it. The batteries are flat in each of these. Yeah, but normally if you hadn't got that on the top, that would have recorded the noise as well, wouldn't it? Oh, if, I hadn't, if I'd have unplugged the red plug, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Should we do it again? We'll have to. Okay. Right, then a little test. Make sure it all works so you'll just see his head. <laughs> Lovely boy. Join in, in it, yeah. Yeah. Not a cop, that is it? What's he saying about you? Mm -hmm. You like a cuddle, don't you? Let's chop my head off. Let me go back a bit. Zoom a little bit if I put that like that. Mm. Well, hello, and welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. And this is take three because twice yesterday we had problems with the microphones and then. Uh, Oh, it just didn't go right. So we've stopped and started again, and here we are. So welcome back. We hope you had a, a great Christmas and New Year, and uh, we're all preparing now for a brand new season in 2023, and I've got lots to tell you about. I want to give you, a, um, I've got a few thanks, first of all, um, to do, and I want to give you an update about Smurf, and then we're going to talk about some of the things we've got planned already um, for 2023. There's a few, still a few gaps in the diary that we're not sure about, but we'll tell you what we have got firmed up in our plans. So um, just wanted to say a couple of uh, thank yous. A, a big thank you to all of you for subscribing to our channel. 2022 was the biggest year yet for Posh Cats Camden. We breached the 10,000 subscribers mark mm. and uh, also millions of views. Um, so it really went well in 2022. We thank you for that, each and every one of you. If you haven't yet subscribed, do click on that button. It really helps us. Um, but also some special individual thanks to our friends, uh, Tracy and Kevin, Yorkshire Motor Runners. Mm. Without Tracy and Kevin, we wouldn't have been able to do the European tour. And if for those of you, have, of you that watched through that, um, I put a longer version, I think it's about an hour and a half version of... Uh, the highlights of that trip it was six weeks long and it really was a, the best trip ever wasn't it mm, um you know so thank you to them for putting up with us for six weeks <laughs> and um also a big thank you to our friends uh kaz and pete uh kaz had a heck of a 2022 um health wise and has recovered really well fought her illness uh congratulations on that kaz and for thank you for for being there for us when we needed a um, a lift as well. So um, uh, thanks to Kaz and Pete. And two friends that we met in 2022 with a new YouTube channel, um, Julie and Tony. They're, uh, what was it their channel? Gallivanting Galantis. The Gallivanting Galantis, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. great channel name. Um, they've got uh, a brand new motor home last summer and a brand new channel. So I'll put a link in the description below for all of these channels, such as Yorkshire Motoramas, Crafty Campervanners, and um, the, Gal the Gallivanting Galantes as well. Do check them out. There are three uh, couples that we've really enjoyed being with in 2022. Oscar snoring. Well, we just had to wake Oscar up because <laughs> he was snoring. snoring but uh... <laughs> I've just took him on a long walk. I've worn him out. That's all right, but he's down here. Bless He's just him. about to see him. Yeah, um, well, Smurf then. We've had Smurf now for 18 months, would you believe? And our lovely blue uh, VW Crafter camper van from IH Motorhomes um, is out on the drive. He's been winterised again because uh, we've been getting some frosty nights again this last couple of weeks. Um, but he's getting ready, or we are getting him ready for a tour and very, very shortly. And 
We have got one or two upgrades planned, haven't we, Sue? Yeah. So we've we've already done fifteen thousand miles, and so last year we did uh, one hundred and thirty four nights camping, and with that comes a, a, a bit of maintenance. And um, unfortunately, uh, during the year, I managed to break our Thule canopy. It's four and a half meters long, and uh, how did that happen, Sue? Well, we got distracted. You helped somebody mm. uh, on the site, didn't you? And I was holding it up. It started to and rain. Then, and then it rained, so we tried to <laughs> wind it in a hurry, and I wasn't looking, and then at one side. And um, when you wound it in, it wasn't winding in properly. And when I looked, that was bent back, because you'd left the safety arm on one side. Mm. And then when you pushed it back to straighten it up, it snapped, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. And we had a job to get it in. We are a bit worried we wouldn't be able to get it in. And then we ordered the new part. Shaman's kindly ordered mm -hmm. that for us, but it didn't fit. So mm. now we've got the other one due to arrive very shortly, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we could yeah. use our canopy all year, and in the heat of, say, for France and Italy, mm. that was a real nuisance. We were reliant on the shade from trees and, uh, yeah. You yeah. Know, and, and getting a pitch which was fairly shady. But um, it, it's quite a, a, a big fix. I mean, we could have replaced the entire canopy, um, which would have cost us around about £1,200. Mm. Um, but the, the main, uh, there's two big arms that fold out on these big canopies. And one of those has uh, got a, a, an elbow halfway, and one of the um, arms has completely snapped. How I did it, I don't know, but it uh, must be stronger than I thought. But when, you're, when you're winding it, it's easily done. <laughs> so but when, yeah, when you're winding it in, it's easily done. Um, so that's the first fix that um, our friends at uh, Shaman Caravans, um, Paul and Ben, have been trying to get a part for us. And it's been about six months, hasn't mm. it, um, coming? But uh, we think we've got the part, the right part now, and uh, that's going to be fixed in February. And, and we're having some remus blinds fitted, aren't we? We are, yeah, yeah. Because um, at the moment we've got ones that have got stickers that go internally. Yeah, the and internal these ones silver screen. The front one opens up in a different way, doesn't it? As a bow at the bottom, it opens up like a fan, yeah. rather than having two bits that, that connect in the middle. Yeah, on the Fiat Ducato, the uh, cab blinds used to fold from from the outside to the centre, whereas I think in the um, the crafter they they come from the bottom like, to yeah, the top, like a yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah. it's a while since told. I've looked in the catalogue, so I yeah. um, can't remember quite what they look like. But it, uh, it'll be much easier if we're going eight for the day. You can just slide them across, can't you? And you haven't got yeah. to worry about storing them either because they're right. there. And we yeah. still use the external screens if we're on site and it's really, yeah. really hot or really, really cold, don't we? So we've got so. three options now with the blinds. Yeah. Uh, very convenient, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, so we're having those fitted uh, at the same time as the uh, canopy fits. Canopy, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to run a little competition about the canopy. Um, I want you to um, have a look through our videos. I'll give you some clues with some pictures on screen now. Um, this is the campsite which we stayed at in the summer. Uh, which um, uh, is the place where we, where I broke the canopy. So if you can identify this particular campsite from the pictures showing right now, um, email me at camping at poshcats.com with your answer and uh, Sue will reveal what the prize is. Have you got the prize there, Sue? Um, I can't pick it up because I've <laughs> got hugging, the dog. She's hugging the dog. Here we are. We've got a Posh Cats mug for the uh, winner of the competition. Um, in fact, we've got a couple of these, so we'll give away two on this competition for the first two answers. If we get a lot of answers, then we'll put them in the hat and we'll draw them from the hat. Um, that's the best way. We have plenty of mugs. We have got quite a few mugs left, haven't we? Yeah, OK. So on to what's happening in 2023 then. Um, we're already halfway through January. At the moment, we're, well, this last couple of weekends, we've been at home, um, but we're heading off to Wagtail Country Park at the beginning of February and to Poolsbrook Country Park, which is a caravan and motorhome club site. And then on our way home, we've got a couple of nights at the Deers Glade in Norfolk. All three of those sites oh. are um, new to us. We've not been to any of those before. And we're going to be meeting up with Bob and Jenny. Bob and Jenny, we? we're going to discuss what we want to look at. 
and That's go to right. these different places. We've planned um, a long uh, European tour with them later in the year, which we'll tell you about in a minute. But we've, um, we've already booked that and we're going to be talking about some of the places that we're going to visit while we're there. Because we have um, had a Zoom meeting with them, haven't we? We did have a Zoom meeting. Because we live a long meeting. way apart. Yes, that's right. We're in Suffolk it's, it's and not right like, up there. That's right. Blackpool. Bob and Jenny and Shaw live in the northwest and we're in the east of England, yeah. so it's a good couple of hundred miles, um, probably nearer 300 miles. Um, so it's not easy for us to get together, but uh, we're looking forward to that one. Mm. More about that in a moment. And uh, I'm trying to put uh, or find space in the diary to do a, a, a cheeky little Valentine's trip somewhere where we can go out to dinner. Because um, I'm actually working Valentine's Day, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, you're, you're already six. committed to a, mm. a shift on that day. But uh, So that's um, February. Yes, yeah. Forgot to mention the NEC motor, Caravan and Motorhome show. We are going this year. Um, we're not going to be at the show for the whole week, um, but we've decided to attend on Thursday and Friday, and mm. we've and uh, we're staying up there um, for a few days and also um, visiting Lincoln Farm Park, uh, which is a, a campsite that, again, we haven't been to before. No. And that's um, near Whitney in the Cotswolds, which is one yeah. of our favourite places. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, March and April, we've um, not really decided what we're going to do at Easter or whether we're going to go away this year. Um, there is a possible IH Motorhomes Owners Club get together at Harrogate, um, and that's in April. So we're we're looking at that one. But yeah. again, it really depends on our childcare commitments, doesn't it? Yeah, and, waiting um, for that rotor. Although yeah. it is done quite far in advance. We've yeah, got March we now, should know in the next couple of weeks as to whether we can attend yeah. that or not. So that's good. Um, again, Harrogate is a, a place. Um, it's Yorkshire, of course, and it's a place we've never been to. And that's Tracy and Kev's area that's it? right Tracy and Kevin's area so we'll hopefully catch up with them again um, whilst we're up there and um, towards the end of the month is the Peterborough National Motorhome Show and uh, we think we're just going to be able to pop there for the perhaps the Friday just for the day yeah. rather than camp this year it's Amelia's birthday party on the Saturday yeah we've got granddaughter's don't want to birthday miss that. yeah so we uh, yeah that's right so we don't want to miss out on that one either you know all right so in May, um, we've got um, a caravan and motorhome club rally that Sue and I are running. Um, this will be the second year that we've done this one. It is now full, although we've got a waiting list um, uh, for those that would like to come. Um, it's in Woodbridge in Suffolk, and that includes live music and so on. Um, but towards the end of May, we're going to start a French tour with our family, Sheila and Joe, aren't yeah. we? And um, do you want to say a bit about we're, that? We're doing a, 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 it's a circular route, isn't it, mm -hmm. that you've devised? Yeah. And that's about a thousand miles, taken, and that's in four weeks, so it's not that's as right. far as we went before. We thought there'd be too much to go mm -hmm. any further. Yeah. Um, and we want to see the Second World War places of interest, don't that's we? That's right, yeah, we're going to the visit the... The beaches of Normandy. Yeah. Um, we're travelling round. I'll put a map on screen, and we're travelling round in a loop, like Sue said. And we're going to go uh, the beaches of Normandy. There's quite a few um, wartime museums and um, cemeteries and things that we'd like to see. Mm -hmm. And also, as you said, we're there for D-Day, and we'll be travelling uh, down as far as uh, Mont Saint Michel, and then Le Mans, uh, heading east uh, across to Troyes, and then up. Uh, back towards Calais via Epinay and um, a couple of stops. I think there's three stops on the way back on, in the third week, okay. uh, third and fourth week. So. And we've booked sites. So we have got some time at Ayers, haven't we? Yeah, we've booked a couple of Ayers, or we've, we've earmarked a couple of Ayers, and uh, the rest of the sites we've booked through the Caravan and Motorhome Club. And we'll be travelling through Eurotunnel, won't we? Yeah. That we did last time and staying at the black horse farm on the way out mm -hmm. um, so we get an early start yeah. the next day so that's the entire month of june really and we come back i think at the beginning of july so in july then um, we're going to be helping our friends nick and carol run the shotley uh, rose rally that's a, um, a, a caravan and motorhome club rally isn't it yeah that's a pub and it's behind a pub, yep. yeah, always good news. <laughs> <laughs> and it's um, 
on the uh, coast on the opposite side of the river to Felixstowe and Harwich. Uh, so there's lots of good views um, just a, about a mile away down at the, um, uh, the marina. You can see views of Felixstowe docks. That's quite spectacular. And you can get a ferry to Felixstowe. You can. There's a little there's ferry. There's some lovely walks around there. It goes to Felixstowe and also across to Harwich, doesn't it? You can walk for miles, can't you? You can. Get lovely walks. Beach. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a, a nice round. Live band on the Friday night. And there's live music in the pub on the Friday evening, yeah. that's right, yeah. If you want to come to that, let me know and I can put you in touch with uh, Nick and Carol. You do need to be Caravan and Motorhome Club members. But if you're in the area and you'd like a rally, it's usually really good value. Um, you don't have to eat in the pub, but they do provide uh, food um, in the pub and also take away as well. There's no electric though, is there? There's no hookup, that's right. You can yeah. empty your, obviously your toilet and there's a water. There's fresh tap. water available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me know, um, camping at poshcats.com, and I'll put you in touch with uh, Nick and Carol if you'd like to come along. Now, there's several shows and, um, and campouts and meetups that we would like to do this year. Um, one that I'd got underlined in, in my diary was the Western Caravan and Motorhome Show in August. That's held at Malvern, and it's a Warner's event. We've not been to that one before, have we? No, Over no. at Malvern. Um, so if there's time in August, I'd like to uh, attend that one. And again, the um, IH Owners Club uh, have a little group there, so uh, group meet up there. So that would be um, good to go to that one. I say it's an area that, because it's in the West Country, it uh, takes us a bit of while, a while, a day or so to get there. Um, that's one we'd like to do. We went to Scotland though, didn't we? we met up with you in Scotland. So that we did. Even further. Yeah, it was Last further. October. Yeah. yeah, it's just finding yeah. the space in the yeah. diary really. Uh, September, we've got um, our own rally again. We're running for Joe's 80th birthday and <laughs> there's going to be a party night on the Friday. The rally runs for four nights and it's going to be held at Sutton, which um, you may have heard of the historic site Sutton Who, which um, the film The Dig, mm. wasn't it? And not um, far from Woodbridge. And it's not far from Woodbridge. So it's, it's in that Woodbridge area. It's a lovely town. Yeah, lovely town. Yeah. Really nice, and it's very rural. Yeah. Um, it was a quiet weekend, but we have got a party night and then a games night in the village hall. Um, about 50 spaces for that one. We've got about 20 already booked on, but the space, if you'd like to come to that, let me know. We've got tricks of the trade, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because we still laugh about when we had the money stuff. Yeah. And Carol and I were in the awn and painting each other's fingernails because we were dressed up for the 60s night. And these two chaps walked in the awn and we mm. thought they were rallyers. And we said, one big moment, we're just finished painting our nails. And we said, uh, we're the entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was me. And the look on their faces. And they really took it out of me and Carol, didn't they? Yeah. They got us to perform with these blown up guitars, didn't they? That was so funny. We've got it on video, actually, yeah, haven't we? that was a 60s night. I'll try yeah, and run a clip of hilarious. that while we're talking there. Um, they said my trousers look like awn and curtains. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, cheeky guys. Yeah. So really good fun. Um, it's going to be a hoot, that um, one. Really yeah, is, so great fun. They really get you going, don't they? they do. Get you up and dancing That's and that. Right. They're a right laugh. Yeah, great, a great entertainment. Yeah. Uh, so there's a few mm. spaces. If you want to, uh, a little bit more information about that, um, camping at poshcats.com and I'll send you some details. So I think after the uh, the party with Joe and Sheila, um, we've got two days at home. I know, how on earth am I going to get everything organised in two days? <laughs> we're coming home for two days and then we're heading off to uh, Black Horse Farm again to meet up with Bob and Jenny Earnshaw, aren't we? Mm. And um, Bob and, and, and I um, and Jenny and Sue have had this up our sleeve for, um, well, since before Christmas, haven't we? Well, you and Jenny got together, didn't you? We did. On WhatsApp. Yeah. And booked up a lot of sites while I was at work. You were at work. And Bob fell asleep. <laughs> and Bob went to sleep. Yeah, I think he had his <laughs> afternoon nap, bless him. And uh, Jenny and I uh, uh, were very studious and we got uh, all the sites booked and um, Eurotunnel, um, got insurance well, got sorted. We've got to do it together, haven't you? If you're going <laughs> together, otherwise you might not be able to get on the same... That's right. Same train. Right. Yeah, Jenny did lots of um, research for us over the Christmas period, and uh, she's brilliant at that. She's very, very organised. Very organised, yeah. and uh, so it made it really easy for me. I was just following along. I'm quite laid back. I don't uh, mind where I go. That's right. 
That's right. So anyway, that's all um, booked up. I'll put a map on screen here. Um, we're going to be going into uh, uh, Calais via the Eurotunnel again and then touring round um, through France, uh, Belgium, Luxembourg, uh, Germany and I think we're going to touch uh, the Netherlands as well. So a real colourful uh, tour, that one. And the romantic route that we didn't... In Germany, get to yeah. visit last year. Yeah, we're going to touch, touch on, on that a bit, aren't we? Romantic road, yeah. yeah. So that's going to be a fantastic trip. Really looking forward to that. Um, my birthday uh, on the fifth of October. And we're, we're hoping um, Kevin and Tracy are also on a separate tour, aren't they? Mm -hmm. But they're hoping to meet up with us and Bob and Jenny at the end of their tour. That's right. And then we'll spend some time with. Kevin and Tracy when Bob and Jenny go home, won't we? That's right, we're, we're going to um, That's what stay. we're hoping to do anyway. Once uh, Bob and Jenny come back to Calais, yeah. we're going to stay on for another week with Kevin and Tracy from the Yorkshire Motor Roamers. Um, and um, hopefully the, the six of us can get together and have dinner together and all that sort of thing. Mm, that'd be nice. I might even buy a round. Yeah, and that was at Ypres, wasn't it? We <laughs> you didn't about, react didn't that have... time, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Yeah, we're going to Ypres. Ypres. Yeah, yeah. There's a uh, wartime museum there. We want to see. So uh, that'd be great. And then we haven't got anything planned for November, December. But with December, I'd like to go to Holcomb Hall because we went to Chatsworth yeah, last we year. But yeah. Holcomb Hall is in Norfolk. We mm. went there on a national rally several years ago, didn't yeah, we? So we've yeah. been there before. But they, yeah. they decorate it up. There's some lovely um, country so houses. Like to do that. Yeah, the lovely country houses. Are... December's always special because mm. we? you've got the build up to Christmas, haven't you? Right. Everything seems yeah. more magical, I find. Yeah, you get a, January, and I had think. Had a brilliant time with uh, the gang uh, in the Cotswolds in the snow. Oh, that was uh, great. Yeah. Built me snowman, the carrot disappeared. <laughs> Someone right. pinched the carrot nose. I think it's maybe one of the dogs. And we, got, stole we were singing that. carols, a bit, a bit tiddly, weren't we? <laughs> that was great. As if. Yeah. <laughs> Well, 2022 was a big year for our Sophie. Um, those of you who have been with the channel for a while will remember that um, in, early in the summer, we found that um, Sophie had a little cancer behind her eye and the vet recommended that we had the eye removed. And as you can see, she's, we've just woken her up actually, so she's a bit sleepy. But uh, she's recovered really well. She's back to her old self. And I was just saying to Sue, I think she's put a bit of weight on. Little madam, she wouldn't go for a walk today. She wouldn't even lift her head up. Yeah. And I was trying to get her to go. Mind you, Oscar I can't... always wants I to go. I can't talk. I'll put a bit of weight on as well. But um, little Oscar's still down here. You love your walks, don't you, Oscar? <laughs> he loves his walks, yeah. I don't know if you can see him, Danny. No. But... Um, <laughs> put your head uh, up, Oscar. Just for a quick update on, on Sophie there. She's uh, in need of a trim and a bit of a tidy up aren't you bless you but she's back to her old self and uh, <laughs> fit and healthy again which is great yeah. news wow Come on I in. thought we'd better say goodbye we had better haven't we yeah <laughs> are you going to say but goodbye yeah. thank you very much for watching yeah. um, and if you'd like to subscribe to our channel please do it's free and it helps build our channel Ooh, very good <laughs> Yeah, we'll see you um, in a video very soon. And um, until then, I'll say. And thank you very much for everybody that do take the time to watch us. And, and we always love it when people say, come and speak to us when they see us out. Yeah. So thanks again. Come and get a sticker. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye <laughs> then. Bye-bye.